Hello everyone, this is Jasu, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics 4-Job Fiesta Run. I guess I'm, I'm gonna keep calling it that, even though the, the real 4-Job Fiesta, like the Final Fantasy V charity thing, is like long over by this point. It's been a, actually a long time since I did the last, uh, yeah, recording session for this series. And as a result, yeah, I don't know how that's gonna affect things going forward, because you might... Like, before you might have noticed, I was, like, kind of super interested in following the story of this game and kind of figuring out what was going on and all of that, checking out the Chronicle. But, yeah, it's been, like, honest, I think just about a couple months since the last time I sat down to record one of these. And I've completely forgotten, like, everything that I learned about the story and the characters and stuff in that time. And I don't know if I have it in me to, like, go back and research all of that stuff again i don't know we'll see how whether my that interest takes hold again as we go forward with this but uh yeah i did uh do a little bit of catching up to figure out where exactly we're at with our characters and our combat and our skill plans and all that and i believe our biggest decision at the end of the previous video was what to do with these skill points on uh, Brisket. And <laughs> that's going to be another thing coming back to this series after such a long time is remembering all the characters' names. Um, we've actually got a lot of good options here. There's something to be said for just about all of these. And we have Induration here as well, which is probably, like, sort of the most powerful option here as far as the spells go. Like, this is... Like, this, like, all of the other spells you have effectively kind of take the enemy out of the action for varying amounts of time. In duration, just fucks them up entirely. They're just done after this, unless... Or I guess if the enemy has chemists in their party who know, uh... Or chemists or priests who know Asuna or whatever. What, what's the what's the item that cures petrify? Is it Maiden's Kiss? No, that's Frog. Is frog a thing in this game? Yes, it is. I distinctly remember frogging people in this game before. Oh, right, it was the needle, the golden needle, or something like that. But, uh, yeah, basically, I, except under those, if the enemy, only if the enemy has those two very specific classes with those very specific skills can they actually get around petrify. So this effectively kills an enemy in one shot. Now, I don't know exactly what the success rate is, on something like this, but I'm curious to check it out, and we do have the JP for it, finally, and that's kind of what I was saving up for, so I think we're just gonna... So in the end, yeah, and there, there's arguments to be made for just about all of these other skills we have, or other than Umbra, which is garbage. But yeah, belief and disbelief we could make use of. Corruption, I actually, yeah, or corruption is useless too, but yeah, fervor, trepidation, arguments could be made for any of those, and I'll probably make those arguments as we uh, go over all of the pros and cons of each as we learn those skills. But for now, I have decided that we are going to go for the Petrify. And I think that was about it. Yeah, T-Bone's got nothing going for her. Uh, Beef has basically learned all the skills he's ever going to use. Or I guess we might give him... Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, Archer's Bane. Maybe if we come to a fight later where Archers are an issue. But other than that... Yeah, we're never going to be able to make use of aim plus 10 or 20. Or equip crossbows is literally useless, so he's basically set for the rest of the game. Uh, same with Sirloin. We can get him fly, which might be useful on certain maps, but... Yeah, faith boost is completely useless. I don't think that it helps him with his skills at all. So, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much all we've got. Um, I'm not sure... I think I did my shopping off-camera like a long, long time ago. <laughs> back right after the previous recording session I did. But uh, I guess we can check that out right now. Okay, so we got rods here. Oh, I'm going to have to go back to that other town to check this out. Okay, musk pole we had already, headband. Yeah, all of this looks like the same old shit to me. And honestly, I don't even think we need an equipment upgrade for the next fight. This is just... This is going to be a pretty easy fight right here, if I remember it correctly. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how badly I can fuck it up, but, you know, 
as, as much as my expectations are any good at predicting things so far in this series, I don't expect that this will be a very difficult one. In fact, we might, it's been a long time since, since we've pulled this off, but we might even get two fights into one video here. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, like I said, I completely forget what's even going on with the story here. I, b I believe the plot is that Beef is uh, kind of... Uh, he's upset by the whole thing with the Cardinal. And apparently by the war in general. Or right, because he figured out that the Church is manipulating uh, things from behind the scenes to put the war into motion for some unknown purpose. So he's going over to try to talk some sense into his brothers to try and end the war. Yeah, puppets in some shadow play, etc., etc. <laughs> I like Salpeg's reactions here. He's just because he, he's completely reasonable, I think. Like this is his crazy brother who ran off to join some mercenaries after. Honestly, I I can't believe it. like there's kind of, you might expect there to be a bit more bad blood between the two of them, too, since you know that Zalbag was the one who gave the order to shoot Tetra. But uh, that, I don't think that ever... Nobody ever calls him out on that for, like, the whole rest of the game. That's Like I said back when that scene happened, it's just kind of like this completely random, out-of-nowhere thing where Zalbag gives the order to shoot Tetra, and then for the rest of the game, like, they never really call him out on it, he doesn't really address it at all, and he's just portrayed as being, like, this kind of, you know, stand-up, good guy, honorable knight for the rest of the game, other than that one scene. It's... I don't know. It, it's kind of weird, I think. Anyway, so that's, yeah, basically all that's going on with the story is we try to convince Zalbag that we're not crazy and that we sh he should stop the war. As if it's even within his power, like, Dysadarg is the main dude who is sort of orchestrating the northern sky side of the war. So I, I can't even remember, like, right, so it's, yeah, the northern sky versus the southern sky slash white lions, black lions different contenders for the throne. Uh, what was it? Ovelia versus Oranus. Yeah, all the, all of that. The two factions, all their different dudes lined up on either side. I think I've basically got the general idea ah, within my recollection right now. So I, I think I know enough to go ahead with things is what I'm saying. I don't think we need to take a trip to the compendium or anything like that. Do we have any new tavern rumors yet? I remember I commented on that last time. It was surprising that we didn't get anything new there. Honestly, I don't even know why I bothered looking. I wouldn't know if anything new did show up, because I don't remember. Anyways, and now we get the fight. Um, so yeah. This is like kind of kind of almost the reverse of how most of the fights are set up in this game with regards to sort of your starting position and like the way the terrain uh, favors one side or the other. I don't even remember. Okay, I think this is another bit where, yeah, uh, Beef will have to stand where he needs to stand for the story scene, so he'll be way out in front, which means we might as well put him in the back there. And yeah, we're gonna have Brisket up front, and then might as well have Sirloin bring up the rear, because then we'll have the other side. And that's T-Bone. So if I remember the setup for this fight correctly, that basically puts them on either sides of a of a door. And then they'll basically just bust out of that door and wreak some havoc. What was that? The, the Postum? The Zalia Castle? The Postum? I missed that. <laughs> that's another one. No, another one. Another trip I'm going to have to take to MerriamWebster.com after this episode. I don't know why he's apologizing to her. Oh, because he was going to leave without saying hello. I don't know why he... Yeah, why would you not say hello to your darling sister? She's the only one who gives a shit about you. Seriously, his, his brothers are like a bunch of pricks. Or like, like I said, Zalbag is a good guy, other than that whole shooting of the best friend's sister thing. But apparently nobody gives a shit about that, other than Delita. And Delita doesn't even blame Zalbag for it. He's like... Yeah, there, there's not even, like, the big confrontation between Delita and, like, Zalbag, the guy who's primarily responsible for, like, his whole, the underpinning of his whole motivation and everything. He's just gonna take down the whole frickin' country and, yeah, just forget about Zalbag. <laughs> 
this whole this scene here is kind of I don't know it's not entirely pointless since like like we're seeing here it's it gets Alma in our party sort of I think she's only here for like one fight yeah like I said we get like the guests for the first few fights in every chapter before they leave but Alma here is not nearly not nearly not one not one percent as useful as uh, Oren was in the last fight and yeah, here comes the confessor, come to bring us in from charges of murder and suspicion of heresy. <laughs> executed as a heretic. It's funny how he like brings up like executed as a heretic is the first thing that he brings up there. It's like you think uh, like executed as a murderer or as a I don't know what the word is, a regicide. I guess he count he wasn't the king, he was a count. But, yeah. It, it, I don't know, it seems that it's, it's entirely reasonable, I think. I kind of feel bad for this guy, almost, because he's entirely reasonable in wanting to apprehend us here. Like, we, we murdered a count. We don't even have anything in our defense, really. Except, you know, he turned into a demon, but whatever, who's going to believe that? Okay, it looks like the enemies are actually out-leveling us here just a little bit. Okay, looks like uh, t uh, Sirloin is up to speed, at least. T-Bone, on the other hand, needs a lot of help. But anyways, yeah, so the positioning in this fight is really advantageous for us, especially do uh, since we've got an archer here on our side. Uh, this should work out fine. Actually, is there anything we want her to do beforehand? Yeah, I don't think there's anything useful. We'll just have her wait there. Because, yeah, we've got a high ground advantage. That's one thing. And there's kind of... The enemy doesn't really have a good angle of approach. They've got basically two choke points that they can come up on us from... you got the stairwell to the one side and the little rock face that they can climb on the other. But it's like basically just two very narrow entryways that are kind of choke points that we can very easily control them from. And then on their whole approach upwards, uh, we've got our archer beef raining death on them. I mean, not I say the whole time. It'll be like two turns before they get in here. And yeah, since we don't need to make with the life song right away, we might as well get ourselves set up. I think the best... Or which one was it? Not battle chant. Uh, rousing melody? I don't even remember what my skills do. It's been so long. Yeah, increases speed. We'll, we'll make with that. Maybe get a couple rounds of that off. And then... Um, if we can just hit someone from here... Ah, we can't. So the, the only thing we need to do for this fight, if I read the objectives correctly, which I literally didn't, actually. I, every single fight, I, I really should pay more attention to what the actual objectives are, but I never do. Too busy flapping my gums as these LP series tend to... It tends to be a thing with a lot of these LP series. I've missed a lot of important textual information in games because I was too busy blabbing over the course of these, like, many LP series that I've done. Now, what was the... I don't even remember how to... Right, it was pressed to the right. Okay, so we can get an aim plus five for sure. I'm not even going to bother looking at the rest. Ooh, that is some... 46%! Oh, he's got Archer's Bane. Right. Is that just bad luck on my part? I don't think that he always has that. Could be, I guess this is probably the first time I've ever done this fight with, like, being reliant on an, ar on an archer for most of my damage. Yeah, so yeah, Archer's Bane gives him, like, 100% evasion from uh, archer skills. And in fact, I believe that's an archer skill itself. That's the one I'm kind of saving up for next with beef. But, uh, yeah, it's going to do shit for damage anyways. I guess, yeah, concentration... Yeah, I guess that that's about right. Like, uh, infinite evasion plus infinite accuracy equals a 50% chance to hit, I guess. 78 there. 114 there. Hello. Yeah, I'll take that. She's probably going to be a bit of a threat anyways. And we got two knights coming up on this side, so we can just uh, charm them and uh, turn them against each other. And that'll be glorious. 
I think Alma's just gonna put, like, yeah, super guard on herself and then fuck off into the corner. Oh no, she's gonna put it on beef. Wonderful. Aegis. I can't remember what that was called in uh, the original translation. I think it was... Was it Big Guard? I know that would be like a very Final Fantasy-ish name for them to give us, to give that skill. Maybe M Guard or M Barrier or something like that. I think it might have been M Barrier. Anyway, so it's Brisket's turn. Yeah, I think we're gonna put her on the yeah the stairwell here, and then she's just gonna plink fools with her magic cane. And, yeah, she's just gonna wait there. <laughs> oh, beef, you slaying it. Okay. That was even better than I could have imagined. And, yeah, he's got, like, protect and re-raise and shit on him. He might very well send him into the fray here. Um, so they're gonna come up that far. I think I'm just gonna wait in place. Or, I guess... You know, I could get the charge or the charm on him. We'll get attacked from two sides, though, if it misses. I think we're gonna just wait here, and then we'll get him on the next round. I can't remember what Zelmore can actually do. I think he just has like white magic skills, so he's not very threatening. Or he's got very high defense, and I think he has a rod equipped with very high MA, so he's a bit of a physical threat. But, uh, I don't know, we'll see. I, I just remember this fight being very, very easy in previous runs through the game. Um, now what are we? I guess we just, yeah, keep on... Yeah, pincushioning these fools. To our right, he was impossible. Okay, so it looks like he's number one, 96. Ooh, 120. We're probably going to charm that guy, though. Although, I guess if he, he'll get... So, we'll, we charm him, he gets hit by his buddy, and then he either dies or gets critical. I think I actually like that. We might also... There's also something to be said for taking out Zalmor's little guard. Like, we, we could just ignore these guys, just run away from them. Or, in fact, is T-Bone in range here? One, two, three. Ah, just out of range. I think we're actually going to do that. We're going to we're gonna charm these guys, and hopefully they'll just kill each other. But, uh, yeah, we're going to work hard on this front, and then just go right for the... What's his name? I said it just two seconds ago. Whatever. Go for the Cardinal there. Is he a Cardinal? No, I guess he's not important. He was the, what, the Confessor? The Inquisitor? Something like that. It Confessor Zalmor, that was it. I haven't even been paying attention to how the speed has been going. <laughs> I assume it's been going fine. We got a good hit right there. Okay, let's actually look at it. Oops. Uh... Oh yeah, she's up to 10, so she must have got hit by both of them. That's fantastic. Actually, can he get in? Can she get in? Okay, she can. So I'm gonna... Hmm, can I get her with anything? Yeah, I want to protect Beef's flank so that he doesn't get shanked by that knight there. So we definitely want her there. Yeah, that's got a really long charge time. I kind of regret taking it now. I didn't take that into account, the charge time on that. But we can get Repose off. 55, that's not very good. Ooh, 94. That's pretty damn good. He'll probably just get... S or no, they don't smack each other out of sleep, only confusion. Could go Delirium, even. Yeah, he goes before her. I I, I like this. Okay, we're, do we're doing it. Okay, now we go up here. This is a bit risky right here. I actually, What I think I actually want to do... One, two, three. Yeah, we're gonna go up here. This could get her ganged up on, on two sides. But, yeah, it gives me both options in case one has worse odds. Okay, so this guy goes first. But this guy's better odds. I'm going with the better odds. She can take one hit. Okay, good. So, yeah, most likely, he won't even go for T-Bone. I think he's just gonna hit his buddy out of the charm. And then, yeah, she's out of MP after one M barrier. 
I'm just gonna assume that's what it was called. <laughs> oh my god. Really? At eight speed, and he's already out racing his own, what was it, charge plus five? I guess we just wait then. Ah, no crit this time. No lightning either. I've, I don't think I've gotten a single lightning bolt proc. Like, not once, ever since I made that whole bit about not upgrading to the Mithril Bowl because no lightning, and the chance of lightning is better than plus one attack. And that's just turned out to be a bunch of shit. You know, oh, if I could confuse this guy, that would be glorious. I think I'm actually gonna do it. Or I don't know, how close is he to his next bard song? Um, I don't even remember. AT. Okay, so yeah, everybody's gonna get to go before he does that. Although they're pretty close on CT, I actually think... Like, C in terms of CT, I think he's actually very close. But I think the best thing to do here is to, yeah, soften this guy up a bit. I don't know if there's a vertical. Okay, 72% for 40 damage might confuse him. Oh, well, that's good. I think this was a good choice. Didn't get the confuse, but, you know, it could have happened. He's probably going to hit his buddy out of confusion here, actually, now that I think of it. Big hit? Oh, hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, like a magic spell for an effective 72 damage, and Zalmor moved forward out of position. That's good. Okay, Miss <laughs> missed on the Rand armor. Still no damage on any of our guys. You might get a flawless victory on this fight. I don't think we're going to get a flawless victory. That was a big hit. I guess that's to be expected since we had such high odds. Is she gonna... Okay, I thought she might have the... What's it called? I think it's Earth Strike or something. It hits all of the enemies in a line for very long. Ah, oh, damn it. That would have been really great if that would have hit, but... So, this guy's almost dead. I think we want to get him. That guy's kind of going down, too. Okay, let's, uh, let's get the charge up. See what we're what kind of damage we're really working with. Okay, 120, that's not bad. Yeah, I think once again we just go maximum damage. I think Brisket's gonna be able to take care of those fools on the other side. You know what? I should have faced the other way, but it doesn't really holy shit. Okay, um this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, that's pretty good, though. Then we're gonna wait to save CT. I should have checked his CT before I did this, actually. I might have wanted to move out of position there. I think he's just gonna hit and run from here, and then he'll get uh, healed by Zalmor, but that's kind of alright. Could go for a st- or actually, can I? Okay, okay uh, yeah, T-Bone can finish him off, so now, yeah, we don't even have to worry about him. Oh, that's not very good odds. But we made it anyways. Baller. Face that way. What is what is Alma doing? She should really just fuck off back to the corner there. She can't do anything else productive this fight. And I think my our charmed buddy there is just gonna finish this guy off, but no, he's just gonna speed friend like an idiot. Uh can I hit her from there? I don't think I have line of sight. Yeah, we're just gonna go for the sure thing. Or actually, I think we got like a back attack from here. So yeah, let's just do that. Confuse would be hilarious. Ah. ah. Apparently that only works on allies or something. Okay, we're gonna go for her now. Actually, if that, if that Charmed guy gets uncharmed, like, right now, before his next turn, that could be bad for us, but... If anything, I should actually get uh, Beef to go right up on him, because he's got the re-raise and the protect and everything. He's kind of our main tank, as fate would have it, as a result of Alma's little M barrier there. Um, she's actually doing fine on health right now, so I think we just... Yeah, make with the cane. Oh, one short. Ah, that sucks. Okay, so we lost all our protection, but... Yeah, I shouldn't have even, even bothered with the cane there. 
Oh, but he's moving all the way up for some reason. Or I guess it's to get the heal on himself, I think. Ha! <laughs> you idiot, you did a smart thing by trying. Because like I said, that would suck for us if he got uncharmed and his buddy tried to make it happen, but he fucked it up. Oh yeah, he's going for the kill like a smart man. Um... Yeah, it's a real productive heal you're working on there, Zalmor. I guess we'll make that not happen. Yeah, like I said, this is a pretty easy fight. Oh, and he's charging right now, so yeah, we might as well get him. Or I think we can... Can we get him from behind? No. We could go for that knight, but I don't really give a shit. Yeah, we'll just... We'll just end it. Like I said, if, if we... Oh, wow, why, did, why is it... Why is it 26 minutes already? My goodness. Oh, right, he's, yeah, healing himself, too. I guess we, we probably aren't going to get two fights into this video after all, but, you know. It was still an easy fight, like I predicted, so I, you know. I was right about one thing, at least, which is beats the average so far on the LP. Um, is anyone even damaged? A little bit, I guess. Life Song would probably be overkill, though. I think we just make with the Rousing Melody. And we move out of the way of that knight who's about to get uncharmed. Would be hilarious if Alma moved in and got the killing blow there, but... I guess it's not... I, sh I should have checked out these guys' equipment, too, actually. Or I guess, yeah, the knights won't have anything. And actually, neither... Oh, Jujitsu Gi. Yeah, that, w that would have been good, actually. I should have probably taken that off them. Actually, is that white rope new? I think it is. Yeah, I don't know how, how long it'll be before we can get that, but I think I want it. Ah, shit, we don't have steel armor just yet. Um, okay, how much damage can we do? That's hardly even worth it. I guess we just go for the XP. Like I said, she's a bit behind. 14 XP. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Or I guess she'll, that's, she'll, she'll, she'll steal the XP, but she'll also get XP, like, just for a successful application of the skills, so... Like, yeah, she got 14 XP, and then she gets another 16 for doing something. So that's good. Well, that's a little full of yourself there, I think. To go against me is to go against God. What have I done? You killed a fucking count, you idiot. <laughs> no, he he pretty pretty much every every single thing he said there was entirely right. You killed Count Delacroix to take the aura sight away from him. That's literally exactly what you did. Okay, now we're in the right here. He did turn into a demon, in fact, but... What's he doing? Oh, he's going... Is he gonna try to hit Alma? Oh, you done fucked up now to mess with my kid's sister? Jesus. Okay, yeah, you done... Okay, he's going down now. Um, 46%. Actually, we got better chance for... Like, I'm doing this just so that I get the guaranteed experience, because if we miss, then we don't get the experience. So yeah, this ended up being kind of a longer... I guess it's mostly just because, again, I'm kind of blabbing more than playing. If I were, like, you know, on my A game and keeping on top of, you know, winning efficiently in terms of time, we could we could have gotten this done fight done in, like, 15 minutes. It's fine. I like talk. I like chatting with you guys. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I think, I think you're right, Alma. We should, we should run away. <laughs> Right, because, yeah, we, we really need your help here, Alma. You're doing a lot of work for us. Two, three. Okay, so we can get him from the back. Or not. Um, I guess we just wait and continue with the bard songs then. And, right, we determined that we can't steal his armor. Um, what's the CT look like right now? 
Oh, Beef's actually gonna get to finish him off if we make this shot, so let's go for it. God damn it. I think he's trapped there, though. Can he move out from there? Yes, he can. He can walk over that knight's corpse. One, two, three. Actually, you know what? He's probably he's probably just gonna heal himself, now that I think of it. We're actually getting to the point where this knight could end up being a pain. So, actually, I'm gonna do a little bit more work on him. Zelmore's just gonna heal. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, good. He's dead. Cool. We won. Yay. I'm a good tactics person, player guy. I won one of the easiest fights in the game without fucking it up. I probably could have milked that even just a little more, but there, just for experience and whatnot, but there really wasn't any point. I don't even rem remember... Uh, the next story battle after this. I think we're going to the back to the monastery. I think it's like a sequence of fights at Orbone Monastery. We might actually want to level up a little bit before that. Not level up, but you know. Yeah, level up. That's exactly what I mean. Also, poaching. We haven't gotten to try that out yet, so... Ah, she's blackmailing us. I don't give a shit. Let the <laughs> yeah, let let the church destroy the world by summoning a bunch of demons or whatever. If you won't take me with you, that's fine. That's wow. Even even wow. Even Dysadar's own sister knows that he's a complete prick. I don't know if Ramza has quite gotten the idea just yet. Okay, so we need her help to get into the monastery, apparently. Even though we know that Orbone, like, or yeah, that's that's actually actually back where the game started is at the Orbone monastery, which is run by what's his name, Simon, I think it was, who's a good guy, anyways, and who would have no problem with letting us in. So really, Alma's just talking shit right here. We could easily do without her. But uh. Whatever, I think she's gonna guest for one more fight, maybe two, maybe zero, I don't have any idea. And hey, or, okay, I'm gonna check the outfitters quickly, just to see if they got, oh, and they do. Oh, speaking of which, I stole some shit from the last fight, and I didn't equip it. So yeah, that fight could have been, like, even easier. I think I'm actually gonna make with the Mithril Bow. It's just, it's more reliable damage. Like I said, we have, we've gotten, like, one lightning proc ever since we bought this. It's just, yeah, tempting fate. It's because I was ta I was hyping up the lightning bow so much and talking shit about the mithril bow. Because I went through all that spiel in the last video, we're never gonna see a lightning proc ever again, so I'm just gonna switch to the mithril bow. Um, other than that, though, I think he's fine. Uh, yeah, he's doing fine. Making with the heavy... MA there for the bigger heals. Yeah, it was, it was mainly T-Bone. Had new good stuff. Yeah, we can... Oh, Main Gosh actually has a... Uh, yeah, high weapon guard. Which is uh, completely useless. Unless you've got the knight skill that goes with it. So we're going to go with the Aura Chalcum that we worked so, so hard to get in the last fight. The next to last fight. The previous two fights ago. At this point, since we just finished another another fight. And, oh yeah, that's right, we can uh, strip Alma and take her equipment. I don't know if we want to. I don't think she has anything good for us. Okay, the main question is, actually, uh, does, uh, does she, basically how much MP does Aegis cost? It costs 30, so she has just barely enough. So yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to take anything off of her. Oh, we can take those red shoes, though. She doesn't need those. Yeah, movement and and magic attack. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. Wizard clothing is... I think that's worse than what we have already. 
42, 15, 50. Yeah, Brigandine is better. Yeah, I guess she can just keep her. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's like a ribbon, basically. It makes her immune to, like, everything. Oh, and it doesn't even give her MP. Yeah, we can strip that off her for sure. And, like, a, yeah, she's going to give us all that stuff anyways when she leaves the party, but... Hey, we can make use of it right now. Only, again, like I said, we're not going to because it's not as good as the stuff we have already. Maybe? Extra movement might actually be nice. You know, I think I'm actually okay with going plus one move and minus one magic attack here. Yeah, I think red shoes is the way to go for brisket. So, okay, we've got that upgrade. And right, I was going to check out the stores, see if we got any more. So yeah, we, got, we managed to skip a tier of dagger there by, because of all those shenanigans we did in the Oren fight. Yeah, we skipped from main gauche right up to Orichalcum, which is, yay, plus one weapon attack. That's like, what? How much damage is that even? Like, it's basically her PA in damage, so that's like an extra seven damage she'll be doing, which actually would have been enough, enough, uh, slightly helpful in the last fight. Um, yeah, looks like nothing but garbage here. Oh, yeah, this is all night equipment. We can't even use this. Oh, we got the German ass boots in uh, stock now. Oh, and we got a new cape. I will have that. Thank you very much. Okay, how good's this cape? Oh, you know what? That reduces her MA, though, which will reduce the odds of steel heart, and it's only for 7% evade. I actually don't think we take it. Yeah, maybe, like, if we can get, like, the next tier of cloak when we're, like, plus 14 evade or whatever, it'll be worth it. But right now, I think I value the uh, magic attack slightly more. So, yeah, we're just not going to buy anything. That's lame. Maybe there'll be something new here. Um, ooh, Celebrant's Mitre. That uh, might be good for our magic dudes. Which is basically just sirloin. What does Wizard's Hat even get you? Oh, mag, mag plus one. Oh, this is also mag plus one. Yeah, this is just straight HP and MP increase. Glorious. Oh, and, uh, ooh, brisket. Plus one MA for minus one speed. I mean, everybody else is sitting at seven right now, so I'm kind of okay with that. Oh, and the MP, too. Yeah, she, yeah, MP... HP, she needs all of that shit. And the MA, oh yeah, it's yeah, Celebrant Smiter. Yeah, the era, the era of the thief hat is, yeah, well in the past now. Everyone can, everyone's moved on from that now, I think. Actually, you know what, I could, or the green beret, I call it a thief hat because it looks like a thief hat. I think it was called thief hat in the original translation, maybe, for all I know. Uh, books. Why do we even have that? I don't think anyone... Or, you know what? I think they stripped it off of, uh, Oren when he left the party. Yeah, main gauche is useless. I'm gonna keep the lightning bow just in case. And, yeah, I think we're just gonna sell all the green berets. Wizards had it. We're definitely done with. Celebrant's Mitre is just a... What the hell is a celebrant, anyways? I don't know. That's another one, another thing to look up. Oh yeah, there's that shitty cape that I stole, thinking it was a good cape. Good times. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna sit on the gonal tit until we really need the extra money. And I think that about does it. So yeah, we're gonna save it here. And uh, yeah, coming up in the next episode, a I believe if I remember correctly, a string of battles at the Orbon Monastery. Uh, relatively boring battles, if I remember. In fact, that's the bit where if we're, if I play my cards right and I don't waste too much time blabbing about my tactics and my strategies and stuff, we might actually be able to get through like a couple of those fights in one video. We'll see what happens. But I guess, yeah, in order for you guys to see what happens, uh, you'll have to watch the next video. So, uh, yeah, until then, uh, thank you all for watching, and yeah, see you then.